Hi, this is BK from ManforWars.com and Man for Wars Media, where I'm promoting polite patriotism to help nice ladies and gents worldwide, offline, locally teach kids to look, talk, and feel great, and uh, to help the same people worldwide, offline, locally discuss and share great info they find online as uh, better people making better places to live, connecting with their neighbors, being able to organize, get better politicians and better results. The protest, uh, protest model is great. You know, get together. We're really mad. We already know. Uh, protest is over. Time to go home. But reaching out with posters, flyers, DVDs, and more meet and greet tables to connect with people uh, as polite patriots uh, works even better. And that's how we beat swine flu last time. See more details on that below. And that can help us with this new flu and any future flus in the flu world order that we happen to run into. So check out the description below for more on that and manforwars.com. Uh, but this video is called Gavin McInnes Discord. Tough old man breaks young lying bitches begging to be broken who love it. Gavin McInnes Discord. Tough old man breaks young lying bitches begging to be broken who love it. And um, and this is based on um, a recent uh, Discord politics uh, AMA, Ask Me Anything, uh, that Gavin McInnes just did. It was just posted today, April 21st, 2020. I've got a link to it below. And um, while I was working out doing some other stuff, um, I, I heard... Uh, I heard it. I heard it. Stopped it a couple of times because it was kind of annoying. Um, but it was also very, very instructive and informative, right? You can't just hear really smart people and then, you know, um, and, and, and that's great. You know, you shouldn't just look at stupid people doing stupid stuff and laugh. That's part of our brainwashing where you watch people fall down, videos of people falling down, doing stupid stuff, getting hit in the crotch or reality TV, and you feel smart by calling them stupid, but it doesn't necessarily make you smarter. It might actually make you stupid, right? So, um, <clears throat> you know, but, but this is really informative, right? Um, uh, because it shows you kind of where a lot of young people are, right? And um, so Gavin McInnes, um, and for those who don't know Gavin McInnes, um, he founded Vice Magazine, one of the three founders. He was the main creative guy. Um, he was a punk, you know, tattoos, uh, you know, tough old dude, right? He's always been cool. He's still cool. He's still cool, right? People who love themselves love him. It's just the world got less cool. So he was cool, started Vice Magazine, legendary outlet, now Vice Media. Now they've changed to be all leftist, social justice, woke, whatever, right? Um, but he left Vice Magazine, worked for uh, Rebel News, uh, is now doing his own thing at Censored.TV. And he's basically um, a, 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 a comedian slash a pundit slash cultural critic. And um, if you don't know Gavin McInnes, you should know Gavin McInnes. If you do, you don't need me to explain all this to you. So there you go. You can look uh, at the Discord or look up more of his efforts as well. And he's more recently been associated with the Proud Boys, which is a group of Western male chauvinists. And they're not male chauvinists against women. They're chauvinists about how they feel about Western culture. They're basically proud to be from the West, proud to be American, proud to be part of a history uh, in the West. Just like people in Japan are proud of being Japanese and people in Nigeria are proud of being Nigerian. But because of all the attacks on the West and the fact that uh, there seem to be people, super rich, evil globalists, for example, above uh, countries, above the sort of world government bodies like the UN and others who are trying to destroy the West or replace with communist China as the new model for the world so that they, we can all be tracked and searched and drugged and shipped and controlled by the same policies they use to enslave a billion Chinese. He's attacked for that, and his group Proud Boys is attacked for that. And it seems to me, for the most part, they're just guys getting together and having fun, kind of fight club style, you know, a bunch of guys getting together and, 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 and hanging out with each other. And they're making better men for other men and for uh, women and kids, right? Because they're more confident, more capable. Uh, they bond like brothers. They feel a sense of responsibility when it comes to where they live. And all of that is being demonized in the media and by, by certain sort of leftist agents and others. So... He's kind of distanced himself from that because a couple of his buddies, Antifa, picked a fight with him. They're kind of genderless, sketchy, commie zombies, right? So his, 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 you know, his, his, uh, some, some members of Proud Boys, a group that he was started and was affiliated with, they kind of were like, all right, you're going to pick a fight with us, then we'll beat you up. And then with a 17 second fight, some of them are going to jail for like four years, right? Because of a fight somebody else started that they finished. But because in New York, where this happened, all the corruption in the system and all the demonization of this and supposedly Nazi, white supremacist, blah, blah, it's like, no, there's black proud boys, gay proud boys. There's all types of proud. The leader now is a Latino guy. It's we just like Western culture, right? And yet that's being demonized. So that gives you a bit on Gavin McInnes, right? And, uh, and this is all related to that, right? But so Gavin McInnes did an AMA, Ask Me Anything for Discord Politics. Now, this is supposedly a group 
um, that is, uh, um, you know, of a bunch of young people that are into politics, and they use discord, which is ironically, you know, sort of division, sort of arguing, right? Um, you know, in terms of the word discord, but whatever, right? And so um, for two hours, he had many callers call in. They were mostly young people, or certainly younger than him in his mid-40s, right? Um, and, uh, and, and they were calling him over and over and over and over again. And it was just a bunch of young lion bitches getting to be begging to be broken, getting slapped around by Gavin McInnes. Um, and they loved it. They kept calling. It's not like a couple of them got the idea. Well, I'm paying attention to this, this Discord with Gavin McInnes. He's a guest on Discord Politics. And if that's his attitude, we're not going to call him anymore. No, they kept calling. They kept calling, kept bringing up questions, kept bringing up this, kept bringing up communism this, or what about that, or what about Nazis, or what about race? And he was like, no, you idiots. I went through some of this stuff. I was young and stupid as a communist too, but you know, I fixed that, clean it up. When you, you get older, you learn things. When the government starts taxing you, when you make money, you realize they shouldn't deserve that much money because they're either incompetent and lose it or more practically corrupt and they steal it. Um, and um, and well, what about race? Race hasn't been, been a thing since 1970s, right? In a serious way. You can make it a big issue, but most people are normally not racist, right? You're an asshole. Someone will be an asshole back. But if people are nice, they're normally not naturally racist. We want to kill all them niggers or kill all them crackers. It's like that's sort of engineered, right? Um, and so he, he's, he, he really exposes how all these young people are trapped in all this bullshit, um, which is uh, exaggerated by socialist media, where, um, you know, they, they control kind of the dialogue. They control who some of the celebrities are. They control kind of who gets likes and thumbs for respect and what gets more popular and so on. Uh, and then everyone wants to be popular in socialist media. So we all kind of gravitate towards that. And it's a really great way of controlling people, plus reducing our language, internet goldfish, eating, uh, uh, pooping and forgetting bits of crap, right? Talking in shorter and shorter sentences, fragments, you know, misspelled words, emojis, right? So it's basically AI bots are turning us into AI bots. And then we're just bitching with other AI bots, right? As opposed to people using full words, sentences, paragraphs, explaining how they uniquely think as an individual, having other people uniquely think about what they think and then uniquely share their thoughts. All of that's getting standardized and you get really kind of a miserable bitch from Concentrate. Um, and Gavin is just there on his phone, just taking these calls and the, the Discord people are like, okay, next caller. Hey Gavin, I'm bitching about this. What the hell are you bitching about that for? This is bullshit. Next caller, well, I think I'm bitching about this, but this is ridiculous. You shouldn't bitch about that. Okay, Gavin, next caller, well, you know, I just, I'm bitching about this, and I, this is ridiculous. This is embarrassing, right? And he says on his own uh, description, he says, it was not fun at all, but a good example of where I stand and why, right? And right at the end of it, right, where they finally said he got to the two-hour mark, and, and they said, okay, that was the last one. He goes, ugh, man, was that a bitch, Right? He went there for two hours. He, he agreed to do it, right? And and he got people, and, and they didn't stop calling. They kept calling him, right? Because that's what they're looking for, right? And I'll get into more um, on that, right? Um, but yeah, it's a great way to see where young people are today and how much they need old people to help, right? It's a great way, right? I've done a lot of experiments on this myself at manforwars.com, extensive experiments with millions of diverse people, young, old, black, white, fat, skinny. It's all the same. We're all being turned to the same kind of bitchy zombies, right? So, um, so, so, you know, it's all, it's all true. It's all appreciated, right? People are basically looking for men to make sure, right? Other men are looking for men to make sure they're cool. It's like, wait, can I still show and get respect? I'm a man, I'm a big, strong man. It's possible. I don't know. Can you? I can. You can or you can't right? But I can make sure that I can co-sign that or make sure I ignore a shit on you, right? So it is what it is, right? You're a lying bitch baby broken. Go ahead. Try and break yourself, right? You can do more than that, but hope it helps if I ignore a shit on you, right? You're straight up guy. Cool. Respect you. Respect me. Don't bother you. Don't bother me. Share how you feel. Don't make me put up with it. I won't make you put up with it. Don't bother me, right? I won't bother you, right? No problem, right? I can do that right? You know, and don't waste my time. Don't waste my time, young punk. Don't you dare waste my time. I don't need any help wasting my time. I waste my own goddamn time. I waste my own goddamn time. I've been wasting my time as an old man since you should have been swallowed by your mother instead of growing up to piss me off. So don't you waste my damn time. 
right? I don't need no damn help waste my time. I'll waste my time just fine, right? Don't waste mine. I won't waste yours. I won't waste yours. You don't waste mine. Done, right? So guys want men to make sure. Girls want men to make sure. Can I be a lady? Will you treat me special? Can I still do this? Can I charm people into being nice to me? Can I be good company? Yeah, sure, sure. You know, kids want the same thing. Kids want, uh, well, you know, I've, I've literally said this. You know, I've had friends, kids or whatever, and little boy playing with little girl, whatever, friends leaving or whatever, and little boys, you know, whining a bit about having to leave because we're having fun, right? And uh, dad's there too, but dad's kind of quietly, you know, these days men's supposed to be silly, bitchy, ah, or sullen, bitchy, oh, so sad, I'm just silly, bitchy, ah, so silly, bitchy, he's so stupid, oh, so sad, that's all I can do. And then women shrill, bitchy, come on, let's go, life is suffering, we'll get stuff done, right? And, and so on, right? That's the general sort of brainwashing framework. And um, so a little boy, you know, whatever, eight-year-old boy, the, little, the younger sister there leaving with the mom and the dad, and he's whining. And I just said, you know, hey, you know, um, you know, if you don't, if you don't stop yelling, you know, then I'll start. And I just yell at him as they're leaving the house, as they're walking away from the house or whatever, right? And, you know, they look at me. The mom looks at me. The kid look at me. Dad looks at me. I look at him. I'm like, your job, buddy. And I'm just, just, you know, just picking up a slack here and there, whatever. He looks at me and goes, hmm, you know, because I just shut it down. Shut it down. Mom was like, come on, we got to go. He's like, I don't want to go. Come on, we got to go. Man, I want to go. Well, if you don't go, you won't get dinner. I don't care about dinner. I said, shut up. If you don't stop yelling, I'll start. Right? And it was all, oh. Mom was like, oh. Eh. Dad was like, huh? Uh. Kid was like, ooh. Eh. That was it. Done. Right? And so, so, you know, everybody's looking for men to make sure. And we are being destroyed, so we can't, right? And then other guys can't be cool. Girls, kids can't be cool. Nobody can be cool. And that's what leads to stuff like this AMA discord, right? So um, so it shows how much young people need old people's help. And as I said to young people or whatever, you know, um, you know, uh, you know, uh, I'm an older man. I'm an older man. Older man, okay? I like, a, I like, my, I like a, my nice sweater. I like a, my nice chair. I like a, my nice TV. I like my nice oval teen. I don't need to do nothing. Sometimes you don't want to do too much. You don't want to do nothing. You're not dead man. But I old man. Don't want too much to do. Right? Don't want too much to do. I want something to do. Not nothing to do. Not a dead man. But I old man. So if I old man, I don't want too much to do. But I wanted something to do. Not a useless man. Hey, women don't want to feel special. Men don't want to feel useful. Hey, okay. Sometimes alpha male, alpha male. Sometimes bravo male. Good for you male. Good for you male. Sometimes alpha male. Sometimes bravo male. You go male. You go male. Whatever, whatever, right? No, I said, wife, wife. Sometimes she, she funny. Wife, my wife, such a funny honey. She get on the phone all day with her sister. And go, oh, this bitch crazy, this bitch crazy, this bitch crazy. Then she come to me. Hey, you, Mr. Man. You know, i perfect. I said, what? This bitch, this bitch say this bitch crazy, this bitch say this bitch crazy, this bitch say this bitch crazy, this bitch say this bitch crazy. Then she come to me and say, oh, she perfect. Hey, what's okay, forget it. Tell you what, you nice girl, you nice guy, nice guy, you nice girl, you making me feel good. Ah, you perfect. What I care? So what? No make no sense, but hey, make her happy. Whatever. Who cares? Right? So, so I say to the younger people, right? Don't you always be a piece of shit, or you always see a piece of shit. Don't you always see a piece of shit? Or you always be a piece of shit? You see? One thing you take from me. I know you don't want to hang out. I smell like a Ben Gay, whatever, whatever. Okay, fine. But just take one piece of advice. Then go run around. Ooh, look at me, look at you. Ooh, look at me, look at you. What to do, what to do. I remember I young, I young, I young, I young. Long time ago, I young. I get, I get it. All oh, the silly, silly, silly. Don't want to be young no more. I just tell you. No, always see a piece of shit. Or always have to be a piece of shit. No, always a be a piece of shit. Or always a see a piece of shit. Because what else you do with piece of shit? Piece of shit to you, you be piece of shit too. You piece of shit, they piece of shit you. Okay? Simple. Okay? Simple. Now you go. Run away. I know I smell like the Bengay, the Ovaltine, the whatever, whatever. Go, go, go. Run around. Woo, woo. Look at me. Look at you. Oh, fun to do. Fun to do. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, whatever. Just keep in mind. Okay? Right? So old Italian man uh, impression notwithstanding, right? Um, that is what we have to do, right? Um, and the young people really need our help because they're all messed up. Now, 
I'm going to I'm going to talk to you about what some of the issues are related to this kind of discord and related to this phenomena. And again, I recommend you watch the discord yourself or watch some of it and you'll get the idea of tough old bastard Gavin McInnes just hearing all this shit going, oh, Lord. Right. You know, this is the shit you're supposed to clean up. And he does it for two hours. He's just lying, bitch, begging me broken one after another, one after another, calling in one after another, following the discord, probably the most popular uh, discord AMA they have right uh, at that discord politics site why well it's, this is what this is what people want right you don't want to be like hey i'm a mess i am i know yeah i'm a mess too it ought to be a mess <laughs> right no people don't want that right you may do that people don't want that right um so um the second point is we're all supposed to be in forever 21 culture now forever 21 is a clothing store it's you're supposed to be forever 21 that's supposed to be the ideal age it's not the ideal age 31 might be the ideal age you know in all frankness um you know that's kind of where i stopped around 30 31 where i'm like i'm not getting any older than this i got some stuff to do i gotta be young enough to you know to, to, to do better old enough to know better old enough to know better young enough to do better right so i kind of kind of stopped aging there more or less for for a while and um and i thought that's it good right because you know after before that you know you're, you you might do something after that you might not do something and way after that you definitely didn't do anything right um and so that's like a good age but hey it's all relative it's all speculative and i hope everybody enjoys where they are with the help of each other as best they can right but we're supposed to be forever 21 right we're all supposed to be all about fashion and getting looked at right we're all supposed to be about fashion 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 right you'll have grandmas asking teenage girls you know uh, about uh, how the yoga pants make their ass look right and in my song no country for old men no country for old men which you can find on the music section of my manforwars.com website you can scroll down you can look through the various music and you see the song no country for old men the hook is no country for old men we can still take it back no country for old men still got a sack don't worry about what i'll do respect what i can no country for old men who can stop us man right and who can stop us nobody can stop us right maybe the man pretentious asshole maybe but eh, not not if we man up right young men don't want to they want to see and be him girls don't want to they're happy to see him you know kids are like hey hey i want to grow up to be that you know happy it's uh, yelling at me so i know how to yell otherwise i'll be all eh, when i grow up right so um but in my song no country for old men i say something like you know i know you got grandmas you know uh asking teenage girls how the yoga pants make their ass look the uh, you know uh you know or uh, see if they uh um which yoga pants make their ass look great the answer is none and you all lie to each other so we'll have fun but we're not being run to the ground by a bunch of teenage girls right and so we're not. We're not going to be running down by a bunch of women being turned to teenage girls, grandmas being turned to teenage girls, guys being turned to teenage girls, right? It's it's, it's embarrassing to be that sort of narcissistic and obnoxious, right? Um, and uh, and we're all supposed to be TV gay in our own way, right? Not like a normal, confident, straight-up gay dude fits in. He's some nice fag and his best friend I see walking up Church Street in Toronto. Hey, what's up? What's up? You know, and yeah, we're cool, we're cool, relax. Life's stressful enough, whatever. But just some mess, some narcissistic, obnoxious, silly mess, right? That's that's different, right? That's different, right? And we're all supposed to be that because those are the stereotypes that are promoted to confuse us, right? Um, and um, and uh, and and so um, you know we're like uh, you know attention whores that way, right? And this is also on the internet with the selfies. You know, guys shouldn't take selfies. You shouldn't be hey hey hey. We have no no one to look at, nothing to look. Right, you can force each other to, which is sometimes what's happening with guys discouraged from talking. Want to force you to look at them, nothing to look at, no one to look. Force each other to look. Don't say anything. You know they'll feel guilty and embarrassed and lie and argue. That's a bitch, right? And so guys act like bitches with each other. They bust each other's balls. They make girls and kids act like bitches because what else the hell are you gonna do with them? And it's like, hey, you know, I got nothing to say, so I just I try to play with my hair. You know, you're bald, right? Oh, what can I do? Is it wipe my face, wipe my nose, look at my toes, get worked up, look at my body, look at my butt. No one wants to look at this stuff, but don't say anything. I'll be even more of a bitch. This is what I do, right? And so guys do that, screw each other up, they screw up girls and kids who can't do anything else with them. And then everyone's the same kind of bitchy zombie, right? So that's an issue. And um and um and, and people want people want to force you to pay attention to them right it's not normal and organic where men stay busy or friendly to be respected right and then straight up with each other nice to girls nicer to them kids whatever and and don't waste time don't waste mine whatever and 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 so on right instead it's sort of i need more attention for what 
for just because we're supposed to be narcissistic attention horse, right? And I'm not, you know, online with the selfies, with the emojis. People, old people are trying to copy the shit fucking up young people, right? Talking less about less, you know, because you're not supposed to say too much. You shouldn't talk too much. You shouldn't text too much. You shouldn't type too much. You shouldn't. And then feeling lonely. No one wants to talk to them. No one wants to text to them. Nobody wants to whatever. They don't really connect, right? As opposed to solidly connecting in conversations one way or another. And then doing something else. You have to send 200 little emoji texts or blurts, you know, for two hours a day. You got to send a solid text that takes you two minutes to write or 20 minutes to write. And they back and forth. And you got to be like solid, right? Solid. We respect and like and, and appreciate each other. We're taking the time to, to do that, right? And so this is the stuff we got to combat because right now we're being herded in the opposite direction where we are all supposed to be messed up young people instead of being old people who can make sure young people are not messed up. And that is basically all we have to do. That's our job. Everything else is whatever. They're trying to figure things out. We've figured things out. We've settled down. We are what we are. And now we got to teach that, keep them from, you know, fucking up the same way we did, or at least uh, as badly or worse in today's environment, right? And so we got to maintain kind of what made us cool and before we were encouraged to not be cool, which is sort of the battle going on right now. Um, <clears throat> now, the next point is um, on the influences behind this, right? For example, right, many influences behind this, right? There's sort of globalists, eugenicists, crazy people that want to, you know, they wanted strong people after, the, after World War II, you know, so they put on Leave It to Beaver and uh, Andy Griffith Show, and they had wholesome, you know, family shows with strong fathers and and uh, uh, and strong uh, but feminine, beautiful mothers, and 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 strong, you know, proud, confident, happy kids, right? Because after World War II, they want to, they needed us to kind of build them stuff, so they wanted strong families, so that those strong families could have strong people that would go to work and make them all sorts of cool stuff homes and cars and military equipment and technology and science and medicine and blah, 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 right? So after World War II, they kind of built us up. But since, you know, since then, 60s, 70s, 80s, you saw this sort of strong male archetype figure replaced with Homer Simpson in the 1980s from The Simpsons or Al Bundy from Married with Children and a bunch of stupid dads and shrill bitchy moms and stupid dad or everybody loves Raymond. Raymond's watching baseball. Raymond, take out the trash. Oh, honey, it's in the middle of the seventh inning. Raymond, you're going to forget. Oh, I guess I better go then. It's like, what the hell? Right? And then we copy that. Right? So so we have been attacked for a while. Right? Um, <clears throat> now, the CIA admits that um, that this is admitted in some, some sort of newspaper article, excuse me, articles and so on, that, uh, that talk to CIA people or some declassified documents because after 25, 30 years, you're like, eh. All right, go ahead, declassify it. You know, there you go, right? Um, that they funded a lot of the uh, culture uh, in the 1960s onwards, since the 1950s. They funded a lot of rebellion. They funded a lot of sex, drugs, and rock and roll. They were behind stuff like MK Ultra and introducing LSD and drugs and, uh, and getting, um, promoting uh, kids rebelling against their parents, not just being individuals. You know, 200, 500, 1,000 years ago, you could have a kid who's like, his dad was like, we were cobblers. We make shoes. We make shoes. That's what we do. We're a family of cobblers. We make shoes for everyone in the village. And you could have a kid growing up to be a cobbler. He wasn't trying to be a clone, but he wasn't trying to rebel and say, fuck you, dad. I want to be a, a, a SoundCloud rapper. No, no. He was trying to be an individual, right? So he could disagree in an individual way, but he wasn't trying to rebel against everything that his parents uh, had learned and had done and that their culture had done up to that point, right? So that was promoted by the CIA, um, and they uh, they were promoting, um, you know, uh, ugly, uh, stupid, and boring garbage, right? A lot of, you know, modern art and so on. Art used to be, can you draw a hand perfectly? I've tried myself. It's a real pain in the ass to draw a hand. If you're a kid drawing Spider-Man and stuff, you draw proportions and so on, draw a landscape, draw things well. Maybe add your own artistic flourish, but you're taking uh, a reality and making it hyper, right? Now, as Gav McInnes said in this AMA Discord, now it's about you, you put a used tampon in a glass of iced tea and you put it on a pedestal and then some rich person for a laugh gives you a half a million for it. You know what I mean? Like it's just it's just garbage, right? Um, and so, um, so they've been promoting a lot of ugly, stupid, and boring garbage. And now we're supposed to say we like a lot of that stuff, right? 
you'll have um, uh, uh, Owen Benjamin, uh, comedian Owen Benjamin, ex-Hollywood comedian Owen Benjamin, now member of his own sort of bear community. You can call it a cult if you want, but it's not a cult sort of thing in the way that cults are bad. Um, but he's got a sort of a cult of personality because he's a good-looking Hollywood guy. He was in Hollywood movies. Owen Benjamin, if you ain't knowing Owen Benjamin, you should at least know him. And here's some of his stuff because he's another man that can help men man up and be better men for men and them and moms. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, it's good, right, to be confident, right? And so Owen Benjamin was playing a clip of uh, some lesbian Australian comedian. Brilliant ending to this stream. Just hilarious. I won't do it justice here, but absolutely hilarious, right? But he was playing uh, a trailer for this boxy Australian lesbian comedian, right? And uh, she's like, yeah, you know, I don't want to feel sorry for myself. I want to make sure that, you know, I'm this and that. And she was just, she was saying this boring, obnoxious, neurotic garbage. And, uh, and, 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 the audience, I think it was a laugh track, this Netflix special laugh track, was just, ha, 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 yeah, ha, 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 yeah, you know, I, I, I think about killing myself sometimes because, you know, how it is, and I look like this, but, you know, what you going to do, right? It's, it's just, it is what it is. Oh, yes, yes, it is what it is. You hate yourself. Oh, it's so great, right? It's like, what? You know, not even entertainingly neurotic, not like Rodney Dangerfield poking fun at himself, right? Just misery, just miserable, like, like he says about a lot of these chicks, not some nice ones, but here and there, but a lot of them, they're like wet rags. It's like if you're at a party and everyone's getting along and then this boxy dyke shows up and pff, a wet rag hits you in the face. You're like, ugh, what is this? Ugh, right? Because that's a lot of what happens, right? Where people are not happy. They had some issues. They had some gender issues. They had some this, they had some that. They didn't have it good, right? And instead of getting some help with it, um, they turned into a wet rag of a human being, right? Where they show up and you're like, ugh, can't really get along, can't really be confident, can't really be happy, can't really be nice, can't really look at, talk to each other much because this wet rag is here and we don't want to make this insecure wet rag feel any more insecure, so we'll all just kind of dial it down a bit. All right, thanks wet rag on my face. Before we were hanging out, dancing, looking at, talking to each other, joking around, blah, blah, blah. And he's talking about her. Do you have a balloon? Uh, no, I don't have a balloon. Oh, oh, sorry. Just an amazing routine, right? Owen Benjamin, special number 804, I think, April 17th. April 17th. Listen to the last 20 minutes of that. If you do nothing else, listen to the last 20 minutes of that. It'll blow your mind how hilarious it is. I, I don't want to do it any more injustice. But my point is saying, my point is that <clears throat> when we are supposed to like this garbage, we turn into garbage. This is art. We're supposed to like this woke art, this obnoxious art, right? This stupid art, right? It turns us into garbage because art is supposed to be inspirational right? We're supposed to look for beauty in art. We're supposed to look for beauty and truth in art, right? And instead, they're making it ugly and they're forcing us to say we like it. Otherwise, we're racist or sexist or phobic, right? I've seen shots on um, uh, the news, for example, CBC News of bars in Toronto, where it's not even some guy who's dressing like a girl and going up there and, you know, entertaining in some big fat dyke lesbian comedian way or in some more attractive version way. They're guys dressed like lizard alien girl creatures. Like, well, I'm a trans, but I actually dress like an ugly lizard and I slither around and I wave my junk in your face. And you'll have a bunch of people in the bar going, this is great. So avant-garde. This is, this is awesome. This is beautiful, right? Or um, Alex Jones and Infowars had shown at some New York bar there was some guy who was, I don't know, you can just say you're trans and do whatever you want. You can dress like a demon, like a clown, right? And there was this guy dressed all in sort of white latex, and he had kind of like a pregnancy belly, right? And this is at a New York bar. This is a video of it shot by someone's cell phone, right? Somebody who might have been a fan, right? And the guy stabs himself in his own belly and, and stabs like a fake baby in there and blood spraying everywhere, and he's eating the baby, right? And what is that? That's garbage, and you're supposed to say, well, I'm trans. Okay, never mind. It's nice, right? And it's not just about picking on trans people because I've met a couple of nice trans people. Just yesterday, I met a nice guy. I tried to be a nice girl. No big deal, right? Not saying it's good for you. Definitely get everything out there. Nothing in terms of brainwashing kids. But if it really is some grown-ass 30, 40-year-old man trying to be a nice girl, well, fuck, I care. Try to be a nice guy. A guy's trying to be a nice girl. Get a decent job or just near my neighborhood, somebody else walking by, you know, all pissed off about what's going on or whatever. And I just noticed, noticed him, her, right? And it is what it is. I don't care, right? But this is exaggerated garbage, right? And that's, and that's the issue. So um, this is postmodernism, right? And postmodernism is all the modern stuff that made the modern world we like 
that gave us freedom and prosperity and technology and opportunity and resources and money. It's being destroyed because postmodernism is communism, right? That's what postmodernism is, right? And as Camille Pelia, um, lesbian um, author and, 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 um, and a professor and so on, she's very much um, in favor of, of gender experimentation. She's a bit mannish in her bearing at times as well. But she's not a psychopath. She doesn't want normal people to be all fuggity fucked up. She's like, look, normal people are great, normal, strong, men, women, children. We need men. Otherwise, if we didn't have men, we'd all be living in mud huts because women aren't going to build skyscrapers, right? And uh, so we need men, we need women, we need children, we need nice straight people. But you nice straight people should let gender confused or gender non-conforming or gender curious weirdos do what they want to, right? That's her theory, which is reasonable to me. At least some of it is reasonable to me, right? And, um, and she knows that this is bad, right? And she's talked about uh, sort of how snarky and cynical everything is because she's in, a love, in, love, in love with the classics. She's in love with classic art, classic literature. She's in love with beauty. She's in love with all the beautiful paintings. She studies it. She writes books on it. While at the same time, wanting a society with freedom to let people experiment and play with, you know, uh, you know, some of these stereotypes and ideals in their own unique way. Right, so that's her balancing act when it comes to this. But she's decried this new snarky, bitchy, miserable culture, and she's decried how this is this is what destroys societies. Right, there's one video on my uh, manforwars.com main page, um, stubborn mas uh, Camille Pellia, and how stubborn masculinity fixes toxic femininity in men and women. Right, and it's a shot of me. She shot a bunch of toxic feminine, you know, bitchy zombies getting off and being ignored, and it's her explaining, you know, in seven minutes right? How this happened before, where they had strong male soldier archetypes and beautiful female archetypes, and they had strong, proud, healthy cultures. But then the guys, archetypes, the statues, the art started getting more wet, noodly, more, well, there's no point in standing up straight like a man, standing for something, not falling for anything. Maybe I'll just be a little bit weird. And the girls were like, well, there's no point in being a nice, attractive girl. I'll just be a little butchy, boxy in your face. And it's, that's how that's how cultures are destroyed. They destroy the men, and the men don't you know don't just you know do nothing like they're useless. They make sure no one else can do anything because they're a mess, and they make everyone a mess, right? And the same thing is happening kind of now to some degree, as I've documented extensively at manforwars.com, and as you can see in the Gavin McInnes Discord as well. When you see what's happening to young people who are not happy, confident young people, at least in this particular AMA with, with Discord politics. A lot of leftists there, a lot of liberals there, a lot of whatever. But they, again, they loved Gavin McInnes. They kept calling in. They didn't say, fuck this guy, fuck this Nazi, fuck this old man, fuck this white man, fuck this guy sucks. They kept calling in. They kept asking him questions. Some of them were stupid. Some of them were nice, in fairness, right? But just you get a good percentage of how messed up they are and what they're looking for, which is good and bad news, right? It's good news, what they're looking for, find it. Bad news, maybe there's not enough around to, to help, right? So that's what we, we need to sort of man up and figure out. Um, and this and this video can help. So <clears throat> um, that's on the sort of making everyone ugly in postmodernism and communism. And if we don't save our communist kids, then they will kill us because that's what communists do. They turn their kids against their parents. Communists destroy culture, which includes religion, family, gender, men, women, kids. They destroy all that shit, right? And then they take the kids and they organize a bunch of messed up kids to blame their parents for being messed up. And then they convert or kill their parents, right? So you'll have a bunch of Greta Thunbergs, you know, little 13 year old climate change activist girl, totally irresponsible, like Maxine Bernier says, to teach a little girl that we're all going to die in 10 years because the weather might be bad. Um, just ridiculously irresponsible and abusive. Uh, behavior for, for adults to do it a 13 year old girl but you'll have a bunch of Greta Thunbergs going how dare you how dare you live in a nice house and have nice clothes and eat nice food and have nice cars and have a nice lifestyle how dare you we should all live in little boxes or mud huts and ride bicycles or little robot cars that only take us to where we need to go so that the earth might be saved and the weather might not be bad how dare you right and you'll have armies of these fucking little monsters attacking us if we aren't adults that have self-respect, show and get it and teach kids to. And we're being discouraged from doing that now, which is why I'm sharing uh, some of this analysis here, right? Um, so um, the fourth point I'm making here is um, men, um, 
um, our job is not to bitch out and let our boys, girls, and kids bitch out, right? That's about it, right? Love saying bullshit, right? Instead of living it, right? Don't bitch out. Don't let your boys, girls, or kids bitch out. That's it. Then you could be young, old, fat, skinny, black, white, sane, crazy. As long as you're not a shitty version of yourself, making someone put up with a shitty version of yourself or putting up with someone being a shitty version of themselves, then you're fine, right? Then whatever. Then you could be dirt poor in Africa or dirt poor in Toronto or dirt poor in, in, in Los Angeles, right? Or you can be super rich in Africa or in Japan or in Russia or whatever, right? But if you are a shitty version of yourself and you're forcing other people to put up with, and you're putting up with shitty versions of other people, then you fucked up, right? That's that's the point, right? Um, so um, uh, don't bitch out. Then you're like you're like uh, you're like dog shit on a stick, right? You're like a human version of dog shit on a stick, right? Where a little kid, a little stupid eight-year-old kid, will put a stick in some dog shit and go near people, and go, hey, I got you, force you to put up with it, hey, yuck, yuck, right? You turn into that, or you put up with an act like that. Right? That's that's basically what happens. Really, that's what happens, right? Where people are a mess and making people put up with them and, and putting up with each other being a mess and can't be pay attention to each other much and just be a mess near other people. That's what happens, right? Um, so don't be a human version of dog shit on a stick that makes people put up with you. That's gross, that's annoying, that's unpleasant, that's uncomfortable, that makes people uncomfortable, and don't put up with it, right? Stop it. Um, and um, so and the reason this is done. Is, um, is to encourage us uh, to, to make sure we can't respect each other and talk, right? And so, you know, again, like I said, want to get looked at, guys, straight up, you know, nothing to look at, no one to look, regular straight dudes, right? Can't walk slow, look cool, try and feel hot, can't have busy guys at a construction site hammering away, pretty bored girl walks by, walks slow, looks cool, tries to feel hot, guys hammering away, trying to break their thumb, look up, and she kind of cares about her, don't care, doesn't make a big thing, oh, these boys, so silly sometimes, and wanders off, Guys like, oh, yeah, pretty cool. Go back to work hammering away, right? Can't do that, right? So, 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 nothing to look at, no one to look, right? It's what are you looking at? Not why aren't you looking at me, right? And that's something that's being screwed up with all of us supposed to be messed up, messed up girls, or 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 TV obnoxious gay, right? That's something that's happening. And for for, for the record, you know, I'm, I'm nothing against it. Although I do think there are many issues with all sorts of stuff. Many issues with straight people fucking up. Gay people, trans people fucking up, many problems, and we should all get this out there. And if you're supposed to be straight, you shouldn't be gay. If you're supposed to be gay, you shouldn't be straight. If most people straight are great at it, then others LGBTQ can be too, right? Because you fit in with nice people who allow you to do what you do. Because we all want to make sure most people are cool, and so we should promote that. And we all want freedom so individuals can be individual. If you're supposed to get married and have 2.5 kids and make sure your culture keeps growing and you don't have a population shrinkage and bring in too many people from outside and destabilize and mess up the culture and have that be controlled by people outside your country who are pushing for that crap worldwide to control the world. If you don't want that, then of course, you should definitely promote getting married, having 2.5 kids, encouraging it, giving them tax breaks, giving them incentives. It's working in Hungary right now where the government's paying people to have more Hungarian children and they're having a bunch of beautiful Hungarian children and beautiful Hungarian families and keeping the wonderful Hungarian culture kind of strong and alive, right? Um, and it's great. But what if you want to be single? Should you be punished? No. What if you want to be consensually gay and do that stuff in private with somebody else who's consensually gay but otherwise just fit in as a nice foppish guy who dresses better, cares a little more about your hair and nails, you know, and, and what, who cares, right? So it's important. Um, now, um, and, and, and so Gavin proves um, the opposite of, um, of, 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 of what's going on here, right? Um, where everyone loves him if they love themselves, right? That's why he's always been cool. The world just got not cool, but he was cool as a young guy, you know, hanging out, being punk rock and getting laid, right? Cool as a young, stupid communist, didn't know what he was talking about. And he started making money and cool as a capitalist going, the government shouldn't take this much of my money and they shouldn't be doing this much shit. He was always anti-government, anti wanted limited government, just different ways, right? Vice magazine, you know, since then, uh, different media outlets, Rebel News, uh, now it's censored uh, TV, inspired a bunch of guys with Proud Boys where he's like, you guys should stop feeling sorry for yourselves. It's like, you can say that to guys. Will they listen to you, right? With Gavin, he's so cool, they do. And girls, kids, everyone loves him if they love themselves. If they are all messed up and they want to make sure everyone's a mess because misery loves company and that leads to destroying everything, then obviously not, right? But 
As I said in this AMA Discord, even the people that are supposedly his critics and his foes, they loved him. They kept calling. They kept talking. They kept wanting to argue. I've had young people with me. You know, they scrap with me, right? And sometimes I yell at young people, young guys I'm working with at a construction site or whatever. I yell at them, and I yell at them until they yell back, and then good. You learn how to yell. Good stuff, right? I mean, that's the idea, right? You yell at them till they learn how to yell, right? Um, and that's what they're looking for, right? Um, otherwise, they're just a mess, right? And uh, and so on. So um, so and 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 finally, I'll leave it with sort of COVID nineteen eighty four, the COVID nineteen uh, pandemic that we're going through right now. Um, this huge hoax. You know, I don't believe there's anything really going on. I think this is all being uh, you know uh, misconstrued. You can see a couple of my other videos uh, for that, including a recent one on uh, bioweapon and disinfo disinfo. You know, patriot porn. Don't promote bioweapon disinfo, and then expect uh, big, and then expect big protests. Patriot protests, right? You can look at that video, which has a, a better analysis of this. But I won't go into all that now. But we all know we've got to deal with something, right? There's a virus, and then there's people in power who are looking to get more money, power, and control over us. And so, we got to resist that, right? Um, so this is where men who can will question bullshit because it becomes an existential threat. You, know, you can just be like, ah, silly, silly, so and bitchy. Ah, so silly, stupid to be annoying with people. So sad and lonely. No one wants to pay attention to me anymore. No one respects me anymore. Ah, so silly, silly. Yeah, I can be silly too. Hey, how am I doing? Hey, selfie guy. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, put up with me. Oh, so sad, lonely. No one respects, wants to pay attention, really listen to me anymore. It takes me seriously, right? So that's that's what happened, right? That's where guys are at, right? And so, um, <clears throat> you know, but this is where men who can will question this COVID-1984, COVID-19, pandemic, scamdemic, panicdemic bullshit, right? And um, if, if they get respect, then people will listen. If they don't, then people won't, just like everybody else, right? You don't listen to someone you don't respect. You do listen to someone you do respect, if they can show and get it, if they can be worthy of it, right? If they're not a mess messing with you, and then you have to be a mess mess with them, uh, then obviously not, right? And, um, <clears throat> and you know, men are being targeted right now as well, right? For example, CBC Kids, uh, the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, in a message directed at kids, recently said, um, okay, so everybody's at home. It's a blonde lady talking. Uh, this is on Alex Jones, uh, Infowars.com, the Alex Jones show. He played a clip of this, and he flipped his lid. He put his big old man balls, man back, and brand, man break to work. And he went, this is crazy. They're attacking dad. You know, wake up. This is nuts. And it's a great reaction. It's a normal reaction, right? Um, to, to either ignore bullshit, bust in your balls, or, or beat that bullshit, bust in your balls, right? Um, but you keep, still keep your balls, right? Um, and so CBC, the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, state-funded $1.5 billion a year in Canada, came out and said, um, with this blonde lady, talking to kids, this video is directed to kids. Again, the communists want to take our kids and use them to kill us, not listen to and kill us and think we're wrong and think there's nothing to learn from us. And so, you know, when they blame us for stuff, we can't say, no, it wasn't us. I mean, what are they going to do? Right. So <clears throat> CBC um, kids said, OK, so kids, you're at home. Right. And we're all worried about what to do. We're all worried about what's going on. But we have the experts at the World Health Organization and others top of the food chain. Right. World Health Organization big, most infectious disease in history, most deadly, dangerous infectious disease. So wash your hands, stay away from people and stay home, right? That's the best advice you got, super doctors of the world. Fucking ridiculous. No vitamin A, B, C, D, zinc, quinine, nothing. Chicken soup, drink lots of water, get some sleep, get some sun. No, just that's it, right? So it's garbage, right? But, <clears throat> but she says to the kids, right? She says, excuse me. <clears throat> She says, okay, kids, there's a lot of disinformation out there, right, about this, you know, thing, because people are, <clears throat> this COVID-19 and, and coronavirus crisis. So, um, so let's just say somebody, like, say, dad, comes up with some different ideas about what's going on right now, right? What are you supposed to say? What are you supposed to do when <clears throat> the experts have this under control and then, say, dad decides to think of something else to do besides what the experts say we should do, Right. And so she's instructing the kids to say, Dad, ah, look, we're all in this together. We're all trying to do the best we can. We're all doing our part. Don't screw that up. You know, I know you've got some different ideas, but you can't trust everything you hear, everything you see, everything you think. And it's wrong because the experts have this under control. So, Dad, 
you know, don't, you know, don't, 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 don't question the experts, right? <clears throat> They're teaching kids to shut that down, to say, we're all in this together, one world, giant communist, you know, global plantation. We're all doing what the experts tell us to do. They have our best interest at heart. And if you try and question that, then you're a weirdo, conspiracy theorist, disinformation. You're repeating crap. You're going to get us all killed, whatever. They're teaching kids to say that. And if dads don't show and get respect, then uh, yeah, they won't listen. People won't listen. So that's that's a huge issue, right? Um, <clears throat> and so, you know, when it comes to this, that's why I suggest hearing Gavin McInnes versus the kids when it comes to this Discord AMA, right? Because they love it, right? They want to be or see that man, right? The guy's calling, even the ones complaining. Hey, Gavin, I heard you're a Nazi. Hey, hey Gavin, I'm a three-star Antifa general. Ha I want to argue with you. And Gavin slaps him around, smacks him down, and the next one calls, right? Hey, Gavin, you know, what about this? Well, what about race? What about what? It, this, this is stupid. Don't get your manties or panties in a bunch. No one's been racist for 25 years, unless people bring it up and make it impossible to joke around and get along and be not politically correct, you know? And kid after kid after kid calls in on this Discord AMA. And that is really great to see because that is what they're looking for, right? They're looking for a man to be or a man they, a man they want to be or a man they want to see. And Gavin represents that in this context, right? Guys looking for that man, they want to be and see him. Girls looking for that man, they want to see him and they want to be a nice girl with a man like that because he can be him, right? That is the point of sharing uh, this um, this this uh, Gavin McInnes discord. Not because it's great, not because it's going to elevate you, because Dr. Shiva Ayadura is going to elevate you, because uh, there's many other people out there that are going to elevate your understanding of what's going on, deepen your knowledge of the immune system, deepen your knowledge of the political system, understand glo nationalism versus globalism, understand the power structure in the pyramid, understand the dynamics uh, of, 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 of different uh, social and political and cultural dynamics. Absolutely. But this shows you where young people are at, what a tough old bastard can do with them, and what you can do too. So I recommend you at least check out a bit of it. See the link below. Um, and there you go. Um, so anyway, uh, do hope this helps. BK from ManForWars.com and ManForWars Media. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share, get in touch with questions, uh, answers, uh, ideas to work together, or financial support. See the links below. See how we and our group of polite patriots beat swine flu last time. We locally beat that. And how uh, those ideas and versions of and patriot best practices worldwide that we all share with each other to connect with each other and connect with people where we live, organize, and get better policies, people, uh, and politicians, and results. Um, you know, that's just a normal thing to do, especially at this time when we're in an emergency situation and we got to find something to do. Um, and otherwise, um, yeah, um, uh, you know, you could also, um, yeah, use clips of this video, share clips of this video, repost whatever, let me know, you know, how you feel. And uh, besides that, I do hope this helps and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.